Hi guys, so we're getting started with foundation and I am using the Lancome Paint Miracle Foundation and I used two colors and I mixed them up. I'm using 1N and 6W and I'm using my damp beauty blender to blend that out and I only used like two pumps this time because I'm trying to let my skin breathe so just a very thin layer of foundation and now I'm gonna get started with my eyebrows this is just an Anastasia Beverly Hills brow brush and I'm using the pro palette I am using soft brown and a little bit of blonde I got a lot of like hate for my dark brows in another video so um, I'm still letting them grow so I'm just playing around with different colors seeing what works best so I'm just using um, pretty long strokes and just um, making my eyebrows just a bit more defined I'm not really doing too much on them just making them a bit darker because we are gonna have a lot of bright colors on our face so you definitely want to make your eyebrows shapely and defined so that they don't just kind of like disappear with your face and my skin is getting better so I'm very happy about that and I'm actually not sick anymore and I did like an awesome workout today I will have a new workout video very soon I'm just uh, working on some stuff so yep blending that out with the spoolie on the other side of the brush and now I'm getting started with Mac painterly paint pot and I'm using this as my base lately this has been a little bit dry I don't know if I let it uh, sit there maybe like open too long but I still love this base it's one of my favorites and I'm just blending that out with the warmth of my fingers For eyeshadows, we're not going to be doing too much. I'm just wanting to put a little bit of color on my lids just so that the colors don't look too like crazy. So I'm starting with Brulee or Brule by MAC. And I'm using just a Sonia Kashuk brush. And this is just like a cream color. And it's very light. So I'm just placing this all over the lid. And I'm using a Sonia Kashuk random brush that I just, I don't know, I got it a long, long time ago. So... And now I'm using Bamboo by MAC with my MAC 224 brush, or maybe this is a morph brush. I can't even see. <laughs> it's so funny because um, I have so many brushes now, and a lot of them don't have numbers. So that kind of sucks, but any, you know, shading or blending brush, just put this in your crease. We're going to be applying a gel liner, so you want to just put something in your crease so that your eyes a bit more defined and... Now that I wear eyeshadow so much, it's so weird for me not to wear eyeshadow. It was like the opposite before, but yeah. And don't mind my crusty lips. I'm going to put some um, lip balm in this video, I think, like after this step. And now just a little bit more of bamboo and I'm blending this out with another MAC brush. The number I think is 217. It's just another blending brush and just really getting that in the crease. Now we're getting onto the fun part. This is Makeup Geek Electric Gel Liner and I'm using a Starlux brush. It's just an angled brush and I am just winging this out. And it is very hard to do gel liner when you normally use like liquid liners. So now that this is like a color too, it was kind of difficult to get the shape that I wanted. But I just took my time and practice makes perfect. So when you're working with a color, usually like the formulation, I feel like the gel is a little different. Um, but yeah, this pretty color, ugh, I'm just obsessed with it. It's so bright and... If you layer it, it really does look really, really bright. So I love, love, love this. And I'm just trying to make the line as sharp as possible. So, yep.
and this is the longest clip ever and I'm just cleaning that up with a q-tip normally I would use like a precision q-tip like the pointed ones but a little saliva does the job and a little bit of mascara this is Jordana best lash extreme mascara the falsies that I'm using I absolutely have no idea what they are I'm pretty sure they're from shop lash love I honestly just had them sitting there on my counter and I'm just reusing them for this tutorial and I used the um, what blue? Oh, Revlon Lash Adhesive in dark. Now the star products. I'm obsessed with this eyeliner. This is by Ruby Kisses, and it's the 24 Hour Eye Define in the color Pastel Lime Green, and it is so so bright. I'm absolutely obsessed with this. I wanted to film something today based off of this eyeliner. Like it was sitting there, and uh, it is just so bright. So again, it's by Ruby Kisses, and I will try to get a link for you guys. This color is so vibrant, and I'm obsessed with it. To set this, I'm using NYX Money Maker. It's a lime green. It does have some shimmers in it, but it doesn't really pick up on your eye, and I'm just using a random e.l.f. brush. So again, this is the color Money Maker, and it's really, really vibrant, and I'm just kind of like setting that and applying a little bit underneath my lash line so that it's not so like stark. Like I don't want the line to be just on my waterline. I wanted to bring it down a bit. This makes your eyes look a lot bigger. And now some mascara on my top and bottom lashes. This is, again, Jordana Best Lash Extreme. And um, with this eyeliner, you do get a little bit on your lashes, so make sure you either coat them with some black mascara or if you have some green mascara or blue mascara, you can go ahead and try that too, but I went with a traditional black because I'm kind of scared of too much color, so now I'm using uh, NARS Creamy Concealer in Custard, one of my favorite concealers, and my damp beauty blender to blend that out. And I really wanted a bright under eye, so I'm going to be applying another highlight slash concealer underneath my eyes to just balance out my face. But um, yeah, this is custard, and I love this color. Sorry if the lighting looks a little bright. It was um, just changing, like the daylight was just, the sun was going down and up, and yeah. And I also am sitting in front of a huge lamp. Let me know if you guys like this lighting better. I'm still working with my lights, and I'm probably going to be buying some soon. And this is the most amazing color. Unfortunately, it is like discontinued. I will leave the name down below. It's by L'Oreal and yeah, it's so, so pretty. Like, I don't know. I think it's called Lacquering or Never Lacquering. I got it a while ago, a while ago and I didn't use a lip liner because I'm bold like that. I'm a rebel. And now I'm using MAC Prep and Prime Highlight in Light Boost just to really really brighten up that under eye and my nose so my nose is so hard to contour I don't know what it is but I feel like it's easier to contour your nose when you have already a small nose so I'm trying to like find the perfect brush for contouring my nose if you have any suggestions let me know because I really do want to contour my nose it's just it never comes out how I want it so yep just blending 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 And now I'm setting that with Max Prep and Prime Powder in the color Translucent. And I'm just setting everything, my whole face with that. And I'm using this Real Techniques brush. I didn't set my under eye with my normal setting powder. I don't know, I just didn't feel like it today. <laughs> and now I'm using Benefit Hula Bronzer with Sephora Pro Contour Brush number 74. And I'm just obsessed with this bronzer lately. If you notice all my tutorials, I'm using it just because it just looks so natural it has almost no red tones to it it's just like a very flat brown shade so I really miss this color and I've been picking it up a lot so you see the color is changing here I don't know why but now I'm using down boy by the balm this is a beautiful blush and I'm using an elf complexion brush and I wanted a light pink I didn't want anything too crazy because there's already a lot on the face a lot of color and you don't want to look like a clown so make sure to really blend this blush out and yeah.
And now I'm using another NYX color. This is Psychedelic and it's the same kind of lime green but it has no shimmers. And I'm applying this actually on the waterline to really set that eyeliner and underneath as well. This makes it really stand out a lot more. I love these NYX shadows. And of course some highlight. This is NARS Albatross and this is an Eco Tools brush. Couldn't skip the highlight. And that is the entire look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Mwah.